What's up guys? Snazzy iPhone Hacker here and uh I'm back. Second video I made since in a while. But um I have a little part two follow up on the Rad Tech Bezel Blaster, alright, which you can see here. Rad Tech makes some great products over at radtech.us, I believe. Uh links will be in the description, so don't worry about that. But first off, I just want to show you how it all came out with my iPhone. This is my iPhone after using the Rad Tech Bezel Blaster about a week, week and a half ago. So the week review of the Rad Tech Bezel Blaster is that it worked very well. I liked it a lot. Many people think that, oh, it's just sanding paper, blah, blah. No, it's really not. Um, I have a little problem with the Rad Tech Bezel Blaster, but I'll get to that in a second. The good things are that... Yeah, it does look like it, it's putting more scratches on it, though. But if you do it correctly, and when you're all done, and after, like, a couple, a day or, or two of shining it, it looks just like new with a little different twist. And it looks very good, and I like it a lot. It took out all my scratches and really gave it a new, like, coating, like a new layer onto my bezel, which is great. And um, the thing I did not like was that you really needed to, uh, I don't know if you guys can see... Let me try to find the one that has, like, the most obvious damage. Although, it's actually, none of it's really bad. Okay, never mind. I can't fi seem to find it now. But you really should put masking tape or, like, electric tape, whatever, some type of tape, except for the plastic clear one. Masking tape, probably, um, on the black or the white part of your iPhone, okay? All around, except for your bezel, so that way you don't scratch up anything that you don't want to scratch up. Even if you do do this thing at the perfect degree, which I'll show you right now. Uh, even if you do, and now you guys can see that this thing does work. Alright, proof's on the pad. Um, even if you do do it at the perfect angle, you're still going to get some scratching on the black part or white part, the backing of your iPhone. It does not look pretty. And um, I did have some of that, although it looks like I can't seem to find it now. I guess it went away. I don't know, with maybe some more rubbing it went away, but just be careful. That's all I'm trying to say. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how the Rat Tech Bezel Blaster works on iPods. I have here an iPod Nano first generation. All right, let me just take off the cool silicone skin. This thing still works great. I, uh, I loved it. It's four gigabytes, and you guys can see... Me in the background, what's up? And uh, yeah, this thing is pretty nice. I mean, right off the bat, guys, this thing is super pretty old, and yet it's still, it barely has any scratches. Look at that. Okay, it does have some scratching, but <laughs> the point is that I'm going to be putting this up for sale. It does work. You guys will see here. Still works perfectly. All right. Still works great. Playing shuffle songs or whatever. All right. Album artwork works. Everything. And I am going to be putting it up for uh, sale. Pricing on that, not sure. It will be on my website that I'm soon making. But if you do want to buy this awesome iPod Nano first generation, send me a DM. Um, send me a message. All right. Let me know. So first off, what we're gonna do is power off the device lock it and now although um now I'm gonna be taking off the scratches on the back okay that you might or may not see hmm this thing you know what since this thing is for sale and somebody might not want it like that I'm gonna go grab a different iPod which will which has even more scratches so I can give you an even better view of how to remove scratches alright I'll be right back alright guys I'm back with the iPod video. Um, I think this is like the second or first generation of the iPod video. iPod Classic or iPod Video, you know? Um, I, I, I used to love this thing. This was my very first iPod. It was great until something in the headphone jack went wrong. Okay, so now you can only hear it in one of your headphones instead of both. But this thing is 30 gigs. It still works great, except for that one minor defect. So, uh, let's get into this. You guys can see right away that the iPod Classic, iPod Video, let's say, 
does in fact have a lot more scratching, does not look as new as the iPod first gen Nano, which I'm saying again, this Nano, I'm sorry for all the advertisement, is um, 4 gigabytes and very good condition for its age, still works great. But enough of the advertisements, let's get into this whole thing. Um, most people try to avoid the iPod logo, me, I'm, I really don't care this thing. It's kind of old, so I'm just going to get right into it and just go sh all out straight up on this thing. Alright. I don't know if I'm doing it correctly. If this is the way you're supposed to be doing it, but I'm applying some pressure. And, uh, and yeah, wow, look at that, guys. Like I said before, shiny. Alright, you guys can see me before. After. Should have done top layer, bottom layer, but I have a comparison instead. Before, alright, before, after, before, after. Does give a little foggy, um, foggy-esque type look, okay? But, barely see any scratching, okay? I'm going to go full out on this thing, and I'll show you what it is, as how it comes out afterwards. Doing the side right now. Same moderate to medium pressure. That came out pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna pause the video right now, finish this up because I'm not sure how much time I will have. But um, finish it up and then I'll get back to you. Okay. That's one thing. What I just did is one thing you do not want to do though. Go sideways and then go forward. Keep it all in the same motion. Okay. I'll fix that in a sec. Um, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so finishing results right here guys. Alright, cut the camera off. Decided to really put some work into this off camera, sorry. You guys saw me do some on camera though, so it's still all good. And you guys can see that's the end result. Alright. Scratches do look to be pretty gone. I mean, there was a huge one up top. Alright. You guys can see some of them are gone, some of them aren't. Side view, bottom, all of it is done after just five minutes. I literally stopped the camera for five minutes, did finish this up, and there you go. What I want to show you though is that looking at it straight on, not really any scratches, but if you put it at like an angle in a way towards the light, you can kind of see all of the scratches. You, you know what I'm talking about, right? But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Once again, before and afters, before. And after, right here, before, after, I mean, before, sorry guys, before, shiny, after, dull, four scratches, after, no so scratches. Alright, um, you guys can see all the dirt, there was actually more dirt on this, I even used, um, not really a good idea, but used a wet, a little, a damp paper towel to get some out, did work, but I don't really recommend it. But, um, really did a good job, guys. Two thumbs up. Five-star five product, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. Watch the review I did of it on the iPhone 3G to get to know how to do it on the iPhone 3G. I'm going to label this as how to get scratches off of your iPod or iPhone. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below on your experiences. Peace.